Hey there. So this is another one of those, it's technically after midnight texts or videos. And <laughs> after midnight text sounds like a booty call. Uh, this is a video, my normal video series. A couple more left until I'm the big 4-0. Um, partly because my computer hijacked my phone and wouldn't update it and it was just a big nightmare. But also partly because I wasn't sure what to talk about today. There was something I wanted to talk about, but I made me nervous. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. So that's probably the thing that I should talk about. So for those of you who have known me for a while, you are familiar with the um, dating debacles of my early years in Vegas. Uh, the first date I went on in Vegas was with someone I met on a website and they said they were an entrepreneur. I was all excited. I'm like, I'm an entrepreneur. This is going to be great. And when I showed up, we, you know, we're having great conversation and really hitting it off. And, and when I asked, you know, what is it that you do as an entrepreneur? He's like, I'm a drug dealer. Not exactly what I was expecting, but I thought that it was kind of funny. I'm like, well, clearly we're not going out again, but, um, I'm going to chronicle my dating life in Vegas and it will be quite hilarious. So I did, and I, I didn't want to embarrass anyone, so I created a numbering system so that it was date one with guy number one would be 1.1, and date two with guy number one would be 1.2. So there was a whole numbering system. And I did this until I got to guy number 12, and he was amazing, and I really liked him, and we actually made it up to date like six, seven, something like that until he decided that this numbering system was stupid and he wasn't a number and he didn't want to be treated that way. Which I totally understood and I felt awful and as soon as he said it, I realized it was probably a jackass thing on my part to do, but I had already done it and I said, I, I obviously, I really value you and I'm so sorry, um, you know, I, I hope we can keep dating and he just never answered my texts again. So I learned the hard way not to talk about dating online. So typically I don't, and I wasn't going to until the last couple of months I've noticed a trend. And this is for me to talk about my experience, not to harass any guys or tell anybody to do anything differently. But I have now been on dates with two different men who have sent me some pretty nasty texts after our, in one case, our first date, and on another case, our third date, because I didn't sleep with them. I mean, kind of nasty calling me a tease or um, saying that I'm really cocky and just a number of things. I don't remember exactly. I just remember being like really taken aback and kind of hurt that they would say that because I didn't sleep with them after two or three dates. And, you know, being told I'm cocky because I want to wait, like that was just, I didn't even know what to make of that. And today it just hit me. I'm like, you know, it took me. <laughs> 39 years, it took me almost to my 40th birthday to look in the mirror and like who I see. And I think part of the reason that I like who I see is because I set boundaries that I think are healthy. I don't want to run off and have sex on the first date or the second date or even the third date. I want to get to know somebody. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And so what these last few months of dates have taught me is that I need to appreciate the really good men in my life. And there are numerous awesome men that are part of my life who say amazing things, who send me really considerate gifts, who take the time to call me and check in and say hi and share their lives and what they're up to. So I just want to say thank you to the men who treat me like I think women deserve to be treated. You treat me well and I appreciate it. And I don't know that I've ever appreciated it enough. And so maybe these experiences with these two guys that wanted to call me names and belittle me and make me feel bad were meant to show me how awesome the guys are in my life um, that I do have. So thank you to each and every man in my life who has done something kind or made me feel good or picked me up on a day that I was feeling down. Know that every one of those moments means the world to me. So thank you. All right. So I don't know how this will go or if I should even post this, but I'm gonna because I just felt like I needed to say it. So I hope that you take these thoughts and go out and make your day a good one and I will see you again soon.